Okay, we'll, we'll get to the super Easter egg in a minute. But first, what's up, guys? So welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Fried Chicken. It's like he wants to use the Farah on Onslaught containment with Tesla Storm. So that's what we're we'll doing today. Really quick, this is the build I'm using for the Farah. The Cobra Red Dot, AGB Eliminator, the Cavalry Lancer Barrel. I don't have the Spetna's Barrel yet. Tiger Team Spotlight, Bruiser Grip, 50 Round Mag, Speed Tape, and Raider Stock. And for our camo progress, we have 1,500 kills out of 2,500. Not bad. Our crits... Uh, 1,000 out of 2,500. Pack a punch, 1,000 out of 2,500. Vintage done, fauna done. Topo is almost there, and we still need to unlock infection. And let me go ahead and switch this to Tesla Storm. And let's go ahead, hop an onslaught containment, and get this thing done. All right, we got our, our containment here on KGB. I haven't played on this yet for onslaught, so this should be interesting. But, you know, the, the bread and butter, what we got to get into is that super Easter egg. Everyone was so hyped for the super Easter egg. Treyarch was tweeting about it for at least like a week and a half, maybe a week leading up to it. And it was not at all what anybody expected. I think a lot of us are really disappointed. And, you know, it, that could come down to a few things like us managing our expectations, you know, knowing uh, kind of the track record of what Zombies has been through for the past like year or two. And, you know, like just hoping for th something that probably wouldn't happen but i don't think it was unreasonable for us to have uh you know high hopes high expectations going into this but if you guys don't know uh the super easter egg came out today uh at the time i'm recording this and basically what you got for completing every single easter egg in the game was a few emblems uh if you, you guys want to see these emblems uh i did a live stream of uh us doing the super easter egg when it first came out but basically you get these emblems of it's basically everybody who talks to you over the radio and zombies just their little image uh you get a banner or not a is it a banner a calling card whatever it's called of like maxis and somebody else they're they're holding like a ray gun and a ray k uh you get a watch that shows your crits for a game which the watch is pretty cool and then besides that you get purple tier upgrade for your weapon whenever you hop into a game which is nice and all but it wasn't what any of us were expecting when they announced a super easter egg like people were expecting a new area on like round based maps where you collect your reward or literally anything else like if there was no hype behind this or or like they weren't kind of like talking about it as much on Twitter. Like they just drop it and say, hey, like we added a super Easter egg. I think people would be like pretty all right with it. But they just came out, but they, they talked about it for a while. And then a after a drop, there was, it was really, really underwhelming. Like all you really do is go into outbreak, queue until you get zoo. And then when you're on zoo, you go up to this like ruin and you just activate it. You go up to it, you interact with it, you float for a second. And now it says like every time you hop into a game, you'll have like purple tier upgrade, which I don't have all the Easter eggs done on the second account. Maybe we need to do them just so we have that tier upgrade for when we're doing these like dark aether videos. But man, I was, I was expecting so much more. I was expecting, I don't know, like maybe a universal blueprint. I mean, this is probably reaching. But a universal blueprint where you can put, you know, whatever pack a punch cam on whatever weapons, or you can use whatever wonder weapon on whatever zombies map, or even adding the Cerberus and the Crystal Axe in the outbreak. But all we really got was like a purple weapon upgrade. If they didn't give us time to sit and think about, oh, how like cool this could be, how nice it would be to have all this stuff, it definitely would have gone over a lot differently. And I know there are, I mean, people are still happy with it. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not a bad super Easter egg, but it's just not what we we're expecting in the slightest. And I, I don't know, it's just really disappointing. And like I mentioned before, if you just want to see that disappointment unfold live or like my live reaction to it, uh, the stream when it came out should still be up. So feel free to check that out. But I just feel like, I, I don't know, the zombies community has been through a whole lot. And this was like their way of being like, hey, you know, we still, we see you guys. We appreciate you guys. Uh, let's do something nice, which is true. They did do something nice. I don't know. I'm so conflicted about it. It just feels like it could have been so much better than it was. I, I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. But now we just got to get these camos. Uh, I still need to get two more levels on this gun so hopefully uh it starts ramping up here what level am i at now 47 and a half so we need to get this thing up to 50 so we start getting our jackrabbits and then hopefully one of these bosses goes ahead and drops dead shot so that would help me out a ton i want to see if there's an area i can go where i can kind of cheese this so any good grind spots on kgb like right here or they start throwing stuff at me no it looks like they climb up Nope, they start throwing shit. Quick Tesla Storm on them. And that's another Surge. And bring on the Beast. Okay, another Tesla Storm. Eat it. Enjoy. This guy better drop me a Chalice. We need Pack-A-Punch. Okay, I know I said I'd drop it, 
but weren't, weren't you guys expecting so much more? Am I in the wrong here? Did I set unrealistic expectations for what the Super Easter egg could be? Is it like on the fault of content creators like hyping it up? Like I know I'm a content creator, so I'm probably you know, bias. I don't think so. I think, I don't know if they're going to drop something that wasn't that crazy. I feel like the hype for it should not have happened because they said they're dropping like dozens of rewards. And I don't think anyone was picturing like all emblems, you know, I'm, I'm just real disappointed in today is what I'm trying to say. It could have been a huge wave of just turning around zombies for this year. It could have got a lot of more people into zombies for this year. They had some crazy super Easter egg. Like we, we, we talked about this before, like pack-a-punch camos, being able to use those. Like if that was used in Warzone, like if you were able to use pack-a-punch camos in Warzone, you'd see a bunch of Warzone people coming over, over to zombies trying to solve Easter eggs. You'd have like older players who maybe haven't played Cold War in a while coming back, making sure they got all their Easter eggs done. People who've been playing Cold War, playing it even more. Like I'm sure if they go to look today at their their player chart or whatever to see how many active players were on today, it's probably the most Cold War seen in a while on zombies. And then it's just, they hop on, they figure out what it is and they're like, oh, it's just that. Okay. Like if, I feel like if the reward was better, the incentive for more and newer people to come and play Cold War would have been, you know, a lot higher. But with like all that being said, uh, do you guys want to see me stream the Easter eggs on this account? Or should, should I just make a video on them? Like what's the move here? Cause that, that purple tier upgrade, pretty helpful. I, I think, especially in Outbreak, you do that you get a crystal event then you got gold you have a gold weapon like within one round that's pretty good but i feel like most of the people that already have or have done all the easter eggs in this game they already pretty much have dark aether on everything so it's not like it's gonna help too much with like grinding like all their weapons are done like the people that got the easter eggs done have played this game like a ton i don't know i'm, I'm basically just rambling i was really expecting more and i'm, I'm just sad that there wasn't more and it's kind of got me concerned for the the way the community will perceive zombies or at least like perceive how it's being treated because people will often like jump to conclusions or jump to like oh zombies is dead or they don't care about the mode anymore or whatever and i don't feel like that's true i just feel like maybe there's a disconnect between devs and players or they just can't get done what they want to get done i don't know i'm just excited to see the next treyarch title see what they do with that see how they continue the storyline see how everything goes from there i mean maybe there is still hope for them adding even more content here maybe there's just the the start of it because if this is just the start of like year two cold war content i'm fine with it you know nice little opening maybe a little disappointing tripped on on the start but like th this isn't the last thing they can add to cold war they can add so much more to it there, there's always room to go up more space for new things i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see also this has gotten really tough really fast there's so many zombies have i even leveled up yet oh, i am level 48 let's go i don't know how long tesla storm is gonna help us out here once we hit a certain wave, we're going to get that invisible zombie. And the only thing that's stopping it is frenzied guards. So maybe I'll switch to that once we get there. If not, we can just start on another game. You like that mimic? Does mimic have a zombie head on the side of it? How am I just now noticing that? Kind of crazy. Game's been out like a year and I just now noticed that. Oh, and we got dead shot. Let's go. Silver chalice. We'll take that. Wait, where did it said silver chalice, but they only gave me a bronze. This is pack one. So I got the silver chalice award, but they're just going to pretend like yeah, I can't read or something. I mean, that's fair. I, I read at like a third grade level, but I can see pictures and they showed a silver t a chalice as the picture and gave me a bronze one. I mean, you can't just get away with scamming me like that. Spawns are definitely a lot faster if I run around though. Like I, if I run around this whole area, each spawn will like activate. Let me get a giant horde of zombies going. If we can do that, head on up here, go down that decoy and take all these bad boys out. Another decoy, please, while I reload. And good night. Just really hope we don't go down. I don't want to lose dead shot. All right, we need one more level on our Farah. We're almost there. I think that's the strat here. We just run around the map, get everything to spawn. We go up in that corner and then we just drill them. Bring them on over here and proceed to lay the wood. And they're all gone immediately. I think he's stuck. Oh, he just spit at me. Little fuck. Get away. Why does this thing have so much health? No, bad. Let go. Fuck off. Let go. Again. Almost. And he sleep. Let's go. What's our perk? Well, PhD. I'll take it. Is this a silver one? Finally. No, we went down. I was just trying to jump away. And I got smacked. I guess we'll use our self revive. Rip the dead shot. But I guess we can keep going without it. I'll just try to keep my aim up. Head level. 
Let's do this the manual way. Oh, there's thresholds. Speaking of crits, we still have a thousand to go. Jeez. Going down in this mode is so brutal. Oh, of course. I pop my Tesla Storm as the round ends. But just going down and losing those perks, there's no way to buy them back. You can't just get them back. You only get one perk per like high value target you eliminate. I guess sometimes they can drop a little extra. Like you can see a perk can on the ground, but it's never really going to be like what you want. It's all just random, which is like my, my main gripe with this mode. Is that you have to play like absolutely flawlessly. Or champions. We can figure it out. We can survive. Oh no. I say that almost as I died. Oh wait. Never mind. We got it. There's drench camo. Let's go. And level 50. Finally. We can start getting our jackrabbits done. Now let's see if we can actually take out this elite. With less perks than before. Oh he's absolutely just tanking shots. There's no aether wrenches either really. I only got like one so far. So I can't even upgrade this damage. Here. Eat a molly. Eat two of them. That'll do some damage to you. Ooh, they're actually cooking them. Literally. Let's go. Give me that. What we got? Oh, tombstone. Perfect. The exact one I wanted to see. Oh, and a gold chalice though. I'll take it. Oh, and there's an aether tool as I'm bitching about it. Ooh, look at them crits go up. Uh-oh. 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 Decoy, go! Ooh. Barely escaped that. Still get my crits from it though. Uh-oh. I think I might die here. Hold on. I'm crazy. I'm insane. I'm cracked. There's our corrosion camo, our first jackrabbit camo of the day. Oh, self-revive. Let's go. Very helpful. All right, this guy better be bringing me dead shot. Eat a molly. Eat the Tesla storm too. And get out of here. Dead shot, please. Mule kick. Same thing. Aether tool though. There's our rotten camo. We're all done with our normal kills. Crits and pack a punch to follow. Oh no, I'm dead. Unless. No, I'm sleep. Yeah, I don't even know how I survived for that long. Let's self-revive again. And there goes half our perks that we just got. Also just realized up until this point, I was recording in 720p. I changed the resolution for the Twitch stream and I forgot to change it back. I'm sorry for the, the lower quality for the start of this video. Okay, we're on Surge 31. I don't remember quite when the Invisible Zombie comes in, but I know it's at least in the 30s. So we got to be careful. Uh-oh. No going down here. Literally eight health. Holy shit. Okay, we're chilling. Oh, wait. Maybe they fixed the invisible zombie thing. Because I haven't really been getting hit by it. Unless it comes out of even a higher surge. But we're at 35. That's kind of a crazy surge. All right, let's stop the entire group of zombies. Quick stun. Get a little bit of crits before we have to leave. Oh, this is getting tough. This is insanely difficult, actually. Just the amount of zombies coming at me is insane. Uh-oh. I don't know if we can get back up. There's one zombie in that group that's so lit. Right here. This guy. If we can kill him, we can get up. If not, our run's over. Oh, let's go! We did it. That was actually super easy. But now we have no perks besides Jug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I have 25 health. I'm running for my, my life in here. I feel like we're, we're starting to get close too. I think we just need like 400 more crits, especially in this mode with the amount of zombies that spawn in. Oh my Lanta. No, I'm dead. Nope, we made it through. I literally cannot go in that room. That will get me killed. Okay, let's just try to get a Tesla Storm so we can do this safely. But this is what I'm talking about with this mode. You go down, there's no way to get your perks back. Oh, shit. Stun. I didn't think I hit them all with a stun. This is like the most stressful way to get camos. But look at the crits, though. The crits don't lie. Honestly, I, I do not feel bad nading these zombies. Normally, I'm like, yeah, I probably won't nade. I don't I don't need that filled upgrade. I can wait in this mode. Definitely going to need that nade and going to need that Tesla storm. Oh, shit. I'm done. It's over. Climb, actually. Holy shit. 16 health. Ooh. If I would have thought about climbing one second later, I'd be dead entirely. Okay, all the zombies come down the stairs or jump over. Jump right over after me. My own nade almost did me in. Holy shit. And now we have a boss zombie to kill. So Megaton, we can take him. There's Tesla Storm right in his face. He's already splitting right about now. Perfect. Let's go over here. Uh, any nades for me? I'll take those. Stim, probably important here. I'm honestly thinking about just death machining him. So let's do it. Please give me like quick revive or something. Deadshot, maybe. Don't kill me though. No, this mode's hard. All right, well, that was going to be a struggle the rest of the way anyways. Let's switch out our barrel. What's our camos looking like? Yeah, we need 400 more crits. We can do that. Let's hop back in. Okay, we're we're back on Onslaught. We got Nuketown. This should be a lot easier. There's our Contamination Camo. We're still not done with our Jackrabbit, surprisingly. Actually, not surprisingly. You saw how many zombies there were. Once you get up to a certain surge, it's like you have no breathing room. There's Conviction. We're all done with our Jackrabbits now. I will say hopping back in Onslaught Containment is a lot faster than hopping back into Round Base. Like if I were to die in a game of Round Base, the amount of kills I'm getting here in Onslaught far and away blow like Round Base out of the water. This is like a faster but more clunky method of 
like getting camos. Oh, there's our chemical camo. All pack a punch are done. We got to be so close to crits too. Yeah, we're about 75 away. Oh, there's gold viper. We finally did it. Let's go. All right, get me out of this mode. I'm leaving. But in our second game here, we had 20,000 points, 525 elimination, 399 crits. Zero revives, zero downs. All right, let's check on what the Faro looks like with these mastery camos. Here's gold viper, and that is insane coverage. Jeez, the whole thing's covered basically, except for like the bottom of the barrel, but that's fine. That's tasteful. This looks good. Plague diamond, beautiful as ever. Looking real nice, snazzy even. Dark Aether got great coverage too. This is insane. Also, just want to bring this up again. Does anybody else have this bug where you aim the gun at you like this and it goes completely dark, like obsidian dark, but then you move it just a little bit and you can see like all the vibrant camo. If anyone has a fix for this, let me know. But let's go ahead, hop in game and see if it looks any different in there. All right, this is what the far looks like in game with Dark Aether. The coverage is still amazing, but the whole camo thing, like when I'm looking at it and just goes obsidian, it's kind of annoying. Can't really get the whole picture of the weapon, but... Still looks very nice. Uh, and I was going through the attachments. It looks like only the 50 round mag gets the dark aether on it. The other ones just go matte black. So I guess that's kind of like pick your own camo coverage. Oh, actually, we can see a decent amount of the camo here. That's not bad. This gun looks great. The Farah, the Farah, the Farah faucet. It's beautiful. But there you have it. We got the Farah done on Onslaught, which is a little different from normal. And also, I'm going to apologize. This video is probably all over the place. Uh, I didn't really sit there and, you know, map out my thoughts. So I kind of just started rambling. So I'm sorry if it was a little incoherent. But, you know, I just want to get my thoughts out about the event. But uh, there you go. We got it done. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, but before that, make sure you guys leave your suggestions down below of what weapon you want to see me do next. I'll have a comment there as well with all the weapons we already have complete. That way we don't get any repeats. But with that, I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please start subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.